You know, another facet of the UFC that I've noticed gets a lot of hate. You know, Dana White gets a lot of hate. There's plenty of things that people hate on about the UFC. But one that I also noticed that I don't really understand, I guess, is uh, all the hate towards the UFC Apex cards. Um, You know, back when the pandemic hit and Dana White was able to pull off these cards and fucking uh, still be able to provide some... Uh, um. Form of entertainment. Form of entertainment and, like, live entertainment at that and, like, um, something in real time that that, that people could still watch Uh, because everything got shut down. All major sports were shut down. Hollywood got shut down. Like, there, you couldn't watch anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was able to give us some of, you know, like, major sporting events in those times. And, uh, you know, it, it came by way of either the, the Apex or I guess at that time he, we were they were fighting in Abu Dhabi. So everything was going down on an island. Um, but then even so, when, when it was kind of like that in-between time and they were bringing stuff back to the States, you know, they had the Apex. And, you know, people, for the most part, loved it at that time. Uh, they thought it was kind of interesting you know not having that crowd there being able to hear all the uh intricacies of a, of a fight that you don't normally hear with that that crowd going on in the back and uh you know now that you know we're four years removed and uh you know our you know the the promotions getting back out going state to state and stuff like that people are like just bent out of shape i notice in the in the mma sphere and you know the media and you know all the top personalities they a lot of them tend to not like uh things being at the apex um when in reality that's how we're able to see as many fights as we do on the basis we see them now and uh in my opinion though as a as a business person you know who why would you want to take a bunch of, you know, uh, low-level, you know, mid to low-card, you know, performers, you know, and try and, you know, take them to all these different places and stuff when you got a hub right here that's a proving ground for them to, you know, get their name up and then get these opportunities to start moving around the nation and, you know, to these other countries. You know, I, I get it why they do it and, you know, I mean... I get. I love the crowds, but at the same time, like, um, as a, I guess I'm more. Of, I don't want to call myself a hardcore fan because I, I, I feel like yeah, I follow this sport pretty closely, but like I'm not like these dudes that you know get online and have just such strong opinions and you know are are you know they they got businesses that they actually run that are you know hinged on you know. UFC and, and, and MMA and things like that. I guess what I just want to finish my point. I'm just like when now like I follow the sport closely and, and so I'm just happy to see fights every weekend from the first prelim all the way to the main event. Like whether it's at an apex or the uh, a fight night, you know, somewhere around the nation or pay per view, like I don't know. I'm just I guess I just like fighting that much that it doesn't the venue doesn't really bother me anymore i don't give a fuck if they're fighting in a dark basement like <laughs> i want to see fights you know what i mean i'm on like fight club shit like i enjoy it um the fact that they fight in the apex is great in my opinion because i do get to hear all the coaching that's going on or which is something you're not going to hear at madison square garden um so that's kind of nice um, it's entertaining to see like what that is or hear what that is. Um, in addition to that, the cage is a little smaller. I think all the cages should be a little smaller. Like even when they go to the bigger venues, and I understand why they have the bigger cages for the bigger venues, so people can see. But fuck that. Like small cages, get these motherfuckers close so they can start beating each other's ass. Because that's what we're trying to watch and that's what we're trying to see. We're getting fights literally every week. We're 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 uh, we're seeing close. Uh, 
close quarters combat. Um, we're, we're getting to see people prove themselves versus like them going and shitting the bed in Abu Dhabi or shit the bed in or in uh, 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 Atlantic City or New York or or, or, or um, L.A. or wherever the fuck they may go. Well, we, um, no one wants to see that. Uh, go ahead. We had mentioned in a prior video, you know, that um, the UFC wasn't always accessible like this. Like, sometimes you had to go see We're a, in a car- video. Yeah. Like, Blockbuster. You had to go to Blockbuster to watch the UFC. Like, I know a lot of y'all don't know about that shit, but that shit's some real ass shit. Yeah, it was like pay-per-views once every so often. And, you know, it's just wild that, you know, folks will will watch these cards, but then, like, almost have this aura about, like, right, I'm going to watch it, but I'm not going to enjoy it, you know? Like, it's just like, I get it. Like, and, and, and I know a lot of the gripe is, like, the fact that they're, the, the the cards aren't like, you know, packed with star power or, you know, it's it's a lot of, uh, you know, no names or, you know, up and comers or Dana White contender series guys and stuff. But like at the same time, like I remember when I was young, they'd have Friday night boxing fights on ESPN. I never watched that shit. Boxeo. You know, I wasn't watching that shit. And even the pay-per-views like. I was just chilling till the main event. Like I wasn't, I I, I wasn't as uh, entrenched in it as I am with with the UFC, where literally I watch anybody get into that cage. Like of course, like I want to see high level combat, and I don't want to see a bunch of you know folks just cans. looking like yeah, looking like tomato cans, trash and cans, shit. waste baskets, but at the fucking s- city fucking <laughs> garbage cans or fucking dumpsters or dumpster fires. Or fucking, uh, oh, my bad. <laughs> Landfills. Go ahead. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, I just, <laughs> I, uh, I I really enjoy watching these fights from week to week. And it, it just wasn't something that we had. And, yeah, maybe, you know, you're going to have a few down weeks between, you know, these b- major events. But um, I don't see also what the difference would be is if, if any of these events that are at the apex took place in just a big arena. Then people would say, why are you wasting arena shows on these kind of cards? I mean, like, I just feel like MMA fans are kind of some of the most insatiable beasts I've ever fucking came across For sure. in my life. I agree with that. Um, Cause I'm one of them. Like <laughs> I want to see, as much MMA as I possibly can. If I could watch MMA literally every day of the week, I would. Like, and I would be completely into it. Um, excuse me, sorry. Um, that's what we want. I think that's what we all want, is that. So, uh, I, I can under, understand the fans, and I can understand that, that want, Right? But we've got to also remember what the birthplace of this shit was. And mm-hmm. it's, we were watching fucking videos three oh. months after the fight that fucking happened. And and that was good enough. And then it was a pay-per-view event, you know what I mean, once a month. And that was good enough. And now we've got an event every Saturday. And now it's not good enough. Nope. And now... We're trying to like, and not in addition to that, we also have the contender series that happens on a different day, like what Wednesdays or some shit like that, Tuesdays. whatever it is, Tuesdays. So we've also got, so now we've got MMA twice a week, every month, and now we're insatiable. And I get where we're trying to move with it. I mean, don't get me wrong, like when it was just Apex and we were in that middle, you know, stage of like whether you know. The country was going to start opening back up and stuff like that uh, post-pandemic. Uh, I was wondering when UFC was, you know, going to start taking the show back on the road. But at no point was I just like, oh, man, I fucking another fucking Apex show. Da, 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 da. I was like, well, still got fights. And I mean, I think actually the way things the way they've been going, it's probably made me more of a fan as a result. Oh, for sure. Like, during the pandemic, I was able to just, like, focus on fights. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, 
You know what I mean? It wasn't like, because you don't have all the other random shit that's going on around you. It's mm-hmm. just like, you've got to find that thing that you want to watch or you want to see or whatever. And fights were my thing that I wanted to see and I wanted to watch. Yeah. And it was right there. And I heard, like, I, <coughs> again, <coughs> I was able to hear the coaches coaching the, the fighter. I was able to, like, you know what I mean? Hear <coughs> individual fans <coughs> yelling out wild shit that they probably mm. shouldn't have yelled out whatever it was it was just a very good time and a very good uh i i really enjoy it and i i still enjoy apex cards and i can't wait till like i have the ability to go to an apex card yeah because that's definitely a goal of mine for sure yeah, definitely. If, if not you and i think uh yeah no definitely i i i, I want to go check out a apex card for sure but, I mean, I'd even go as far as to say that, like, literally, that's even, like, an indirect, like, result of how this show even started was being able to freaking really lock in with this MMA to even feel confident enough now to even do things the way we do, whether or not motherfuckers think we're, you know, a reliable source or not. Like, I just enjoy this shit, so... I mean... I'm a fucking great source. I don't give a I, fuck what nobody fucking says. I fucks with I've won, like, what? Like, 60 fucking fights over all the <laughs> fights over the top? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. fuck y'all. If y'all don't feel like I'm a fucking the one. And I, I'm uh, fucking Neo out here in these streets. Yeah. And, I mean, hey, fucking... You can say what you want about this opinion. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, Please leave them in the comments. Let us know how you feel. And, uh, yeah, you know... I know motherfuckers are gonna hate, but uh, salute to the Apex, man. Shit, fucking absolutely. Just, hey, we, if that the shit goes down again, you motherfuckers ain't gonna be complaining. So, you know, but just wanted to get that off my chest. Bros talk MMA.